In 2020.3, Tableau have added relationship calculations to the feature set. Now, relationships were a new feature in 2020.2, but back then you couldn't do calculations to form relationships, but now you can. Let me show you how that works. It's gonna be a very, very quick video. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the same beta bookshop data source that I connected to in my previous tutorial. Uh, be sure to check that video out. It's the exact same data source, so you can just go ahead and grab the file from that video. I'll also put a link in the description below to that um, data set. Now here, what we have is essentially a very simple data set where we have the authors. And what we did in the previous version is we essentially connected the authors to the books and the relationship there is based on the author ID. So you can see here that Tableau automatically figures that out. Now, the issue we had before is that if we wanted to bring the book information, I'll just show you here, you will see that I actually created an artificial field to showcase how to do um, joins um, inside of the uh, relationship in order to bring the information in, if that makes sense. So book ID one and book ID two uh, basically come together to make the book ID. And so before what I had to do is I had to open up the author, open up this in information here, then go in here and do a join calc, which is uh, available uh, prior to 2020.2. So I'm just gonna close this because that's not what I want to do. I actually wanna go ahead and uh, remove this um, entirely. So if I actually just go back um, and then close this connection, and I'm gonna grab the info and I'm just gonna drop it here next to book because this is the information about the book itself. So I'll drop this here and you'll see that it automatically picks the right column, of course, but I don't want to do that. I wanna showcase the new relationship calculation. So you can see here at the very bottom is this new option for relationship calculations. Let me just highlight that for you here. Um, it's just here at the very, very bottom. And so if you actually click on that, you get the same calculation window that we used to. And just make this larger so you can see. Uh, let's uh, also just type in book ID, if I can spell correctly, book ID one plus book ID two. And the reason I'm adding these together is because they're two strings. So I'm essentially concatenating them together to make the actual book ID. So click apply and click OK, and we're done. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's the everything set up the way we'd need to. And now we can, of course, go over to sheet one and start working with it as we did before. I can grab uh, an author, uh, grab their first name and last name, then grab a, a book, uh, let's grab the title, and we can get the information about that book and Tableau's pulling all of that information dynamically together. And that's pretty much it. It's a really simple feature, but it's something that a lot of people have asked for in the previous version of, uh, of relationships that was released in 2022.2. And it also gives us a hint that Tableau's not done yet. They might be still adding more features uh, into this tool set. So if you're watching this maybe a couple of years down the line, I'm sure there's plenty more about this feature. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, check out some of the other videos on this channel about that. And while you're here, why not check out some of the other videos on 2020.3? Uh, and by all means, let us know if you like the content, like, comment, dislike, whatever it is, let us know, and we'll try and improve the quality of what we're producing.